Will you tell me something, Mr. Lumberjack? Is it one for forward and three for back? Is it two for... Here's my Hasty Heat grade heater. And I really like this unit a lot. It, uh, for 300 and some dollars, it turns your fireplace into a, into a heater rather than heat going up the chimney. It comes out this this tube, and that's, that's kind of how it works. There's a fan here. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, sucks in cooler air and uh, goes behind the burning fire and then uh, shoots out hot air, and I'll show you that here, here in a second. Um, there is one important caveat that I'm going to show at the end of the video uh, about this, this, this thing you need to probably adjust if you do buy it. Uh, and another caveat is that it, uh, it makes quite a bit of noise. Um, it's no big deal for me, but I wanted to show you that. Here's the, here's the dial for the fan. I've got to, I've got to plug this in. And uh, let's have a listen and see what you think. So that's low speed. And then uh, you can turn this thing up to be pretty, pretty noisy. But it does blow a ton of air out of, uh, out of the other end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a fire. And uh, we're going to watch the heat come out of here. And also we're going to check the thermostat in, in this room uh, that I'm about to show you. And you'll see how awesome it is. So uh, stay tuned. I just started the fire. And you can hear the fan going, probably. Uh, I just wanted to show you the room that we're in, this, this den. And it is 12 feet wide by 13 feet deep. Uh, so a pretty small room. And I wanted to show you the thermostat. So it's set at 65, and it's 65 degrees right now. And uh, this will take a while. Let's check the clock here. What time is it? 6.17. Uh, this will take a while to get going to, to start um, heating this room up. But we can get this to, to 71, 72 degrees here um, in a little while. Let's see how long it takes. One key part I forgot to mention is that it's just nine degrees outside right now. Obviously, it would it would heat up faster if it was 65 degrees outside, but it's, it's 9. We added a couple logs, and I wanted to check the temp, and you'll see um, without any coals or embers down down below, it takes a, um, there's a, there's a big gap between the temps. So the fire is 458 degrees Fahrenheit, and out of the tube right now, we're at 97. But that'll change here uh, shortly as we as we get um, the fire the fire going, some embers down, and, and and more I guess material for the air to heat as it as it blows out this uh, this other end. It's uh, six thirty now, and we've got a pretty good fire going. Let's just check the uh, what's coming out of that. Up to one hundred and sixteen degrees. One thing I forgot to mention is very important for this unit is. Um, you have to run the fan all the time. You can't have a fire without the fan because uh, it's a Chinese fan that comes with the unit with plastic fins, and uh, th those melt. I, I learned the hard way. So always have your, your fan running. We're at about 40 minutes since I started the fire, and you can see some embers forming down below and also kind of on, on the grate. Let's check the, the temp of the output up to 203 degrees Fahrenheit. And then uh, let's have a look. Dog is still there. Uh, we lost a degree on the on the outside temperature. But inside, now we're up to 67. We're at about the hour, 15 minute mark. Let's see how our blower is doing. Up to 274 degrees. I uh, added one dog. The temp outside is the same at 8 degrees. Let's have a look at that thermostat. Up to 69 degrees. One last check-in. We're at about the hour and a half mark. Let's check our uh, output. 265, about the same as last time. Let's check the rest. Still have the two dogs. 
it's still eight degrees outside. And lastly, let's check the thermostat up to 70 degrees. So you can see why I like this system a lot. Uh, but stay tuned and for one important modification you should make uh, to your hasty heat. Back to the pretty major design problem with this, uh, this unit. Definitely not a deal breaker, but something you're going to want to want to do uh, like I did is um, this is just tube here, seal tube, and uh, fires get really hot and they just rip through this stuff. Like I saw holes coming um, through this tube after just a couple months of use. So what I did is I uh, got one inch steel, you know, st solid steel bar and filled the, the tube with the, with the bar. So it maintained the great aspect of it. Um, but as you can see already, uh, this is gonna this is gonna come out here. So I'm gonna have to have that re welded at the bottom. But as long as you, this is my third full season on this. As long as you get the uh, the bar in in the pipe or the tube rather, um, you should be good to go for uh, at least a few years before you have to do anything with it. Well, you work in the woods from morning to night. You laugh and sing and you cuss and fight.